Coming up next on the Jeff Curley Show, it's dog eat dog in the staffing world, but you'll meet two guys behind a firm that is really making a difference. That's next. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Before life from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Curley, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is the Jeff Crilly Show. Well, if you remember back a year ago during the height of the pandemic, everybody was just fortunate to have a job. They were kind of hunkered down and, and uh, saying a prayer that they don't get fired. What a difference a year makes. Uh, we saw the latest jobs report. Uh, it is very competitive, especially when it comes to staffing. To talk about that today, the guys behind the Catapult Solutions Group, uh, Chris Lester and Alex Anderson. Thank you for coming on the show. Thanks for having us. Great to be here, Matt. All right. Well, let's get a lay of the land because you guys have been around for eight years. Uh, have you ever seen it this competitive? Let's start with you, Chris. Uh, no. So I've been doing this for 11 years. Our company's been around for eight years, but uh, it is insanely competitive right now. So um, I can say no. I, I haven't seen it crazier than this. There's more jobs than there are people. You know, that's the, that, the crazy part to me. Yes. Let's get you in on this, Alex. Uh, I know one of the areas you specialize in is IT. I can't think of a more competitive space than IT right now. Yeah, we just talked about it before we yeah. started the show. I think technology is moving so quickly and so many businesses are transforming that there's not enough people and the education can't keep up. Yes. So we're dealing with this, all of these compounding effects of that are, are the net, where the net result is basically there's not enough there's not enough people to fill jobs. Yes. So we're we're trying to fill all of the gaps, and 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 you know we're dealing with uh, you know a ton of competition, and there's too few candidates. And, so, and and when you think about that from the job candidate standpoint, if they're there and they're getting all these LinkedIn requests, pretty soon a staffing agency can become background noise if they're not doing it right. We found a great uh, overview video of your company. Let's go ahead and roll that now.
congratulations. I'll tell you what impresses me the most because you guys have been growing and your trajectory is just uh, insane. When companies grow, the culture can shift. People can lose their way. But uh, you made the DBJ's uh, best places to work list three years in a row. Did I get that right? Yeah, correct. Yeah. How do you do it? Let's start with you, Chris. Uh, so I'd say the way we do it mainly is we just focus on hiring the right people, right? And it's a diverse crew that we hire, but it's just the right mindset, the things of their competitively mindset, right? Or they're competitive. They have a curiosity about the world and they work hard, right? And I think sometimes uh, hard work goes unnoticed a lot in this world. Um, but truly, I think to be successful in anything, if you work hard, then you can be successful at anything, right? So. We're going to put your latest DBJ award on the screen so everybody can see it. And and Alex, I think what's most impressive is uh, this comes during a pandemic year when everybody was working from home. I mean, how do you how do you keep the culture together when suddenly everybody's remote? Yeah, well, I think um, that's probably our biggest strength at Catapult. Um, and Chris nailed it. The reason why Catapult has great culture is not because uh, we have. I mean, and Patrick, our CEO and founder of this company, set the tone for that but we bring in the right people. And it's this melting pot of competitive people, right? There's this sense of internal competition that I think is what really drives our culture. He talked about a little bit, like this concept of meritocracy. So it's like a, a really successful athletic team. Everyone knows they can lose their job at any time. It's not because it's a hostile environment. It's because we all want to win and everybody wants to compete and they drive each other to compete. Yes. So I think that's what yeah. the glue was. I agree. And glue you guys was. are all back in the office now? 100%. Wow. Okay. I know one of the challenges we talked about off camera is the idea that sometimes you're not face to face with uh, the candidate or the client. Mm -hmm. uh, how have you navigated that, Chris? So luckily, there's a lot of platforms out there where they are, you know, Zoom, Teams, um, Google Duo, anything. There's all kinds of these platforms. So these this day and age, one, your messaging from a client side has to be very pointed to even get that meeting right because nobody's in the office anymore so nobody's picking up their desk phone um so rarely do we have their mobile phone if we've never worked with them before right so you get very pointed messaging um but then you have to have all of those different ways to meet with them and be flexible right and respectful for their views um but that's really how we've navigated it right that's how we also navigated our culture right afternoon happy hours multiple meetings fun stuff right yes. that you can still do fun things together apart, right? And so that's where we found a good balance. And making sure that the client is happy. It's not just enough to get a warm body over there, right. because if that warm body fails inside a month or two, uh, all of a sudden the client's not happy with you. Right, and even and at the beginning of COVID, Chris, this our Dallas office dealt with this, especially so. We were consulting our clients, and some of these are, are very large, very reputable businesses, and we're consulting them on how we can help them and, and our candidates work from home. Yes. How can we help and support and invest in the infrastructure that will allow our candidates and your contingent you know, uh, labor uh, work from home? Yes. How can we make this an easier transition for you? So we were heavily involved in that. We had to become yeah. uh, at home you know, uh, IT experts. Yeah, so we, we had learned learn quick. We, yeah. did. Right. we did. Well, so I, I'm a baby boomer. I'm 57, and my generation is still the hey, go to work for the car, car company, and you know, keep your nose clean, and yeah. stay there for 40 years and get a gold watch. These days, uh, the millennials and the Gen Zs can get kind of that that itch after a year, can't they? I mean, is that a challenge that you're up against? 100. Yeah, and I think. I think part of it, right, like you're saying, we we were all raised by parents who worked for the same organization for 30, 40 years. Both yeah. of my parents did, right? So that's what I see. But if I think now the younger generations have learned that maybe they get to choose whatever they want, right? And maybe I think it wasn't taught that, hey, you know, you go in and that's how you grow in an organization is grow yourself, invest yourself, and then you will grow organically in an organization, um, but this day and age, it's, you know, if if they don't like it, they have so many options. Yeah. There's so many companies out there that tout a phenomenal culture, right? And so that's, it's easy to see the flashy thing that looks great on social media. And I want to work there. Yes. Mm -hmm. So And Alex, let's have you uh, amplify that because now that we're coming out the other side of the pandemic and uh, the economy is just roaring right now, uh, that job hopping thing is going to get more intense in the coming months, isn't it? It is. You know, and we're dealing with this right now, like everyone else yeah. in, the, in the industry and in every industry. One thing I think that we're good at and we're, con we're constantly trying to get better at this is the reason I think young people 
people my in my generation, quite frankly, continue to move around us because they're constantly seeking advancement opportunity. So I think one thing that we try to focus on, at least internally, mm -hmm. showing people the path, showing people the path of progression, where opportunities exist within the company, how they can help us grow. They can create the position for yes. themselves. Yes. They can help steer the direction of Catapult. And yes. that's important. And you guys being a great place to work year after year really helps you serve the client. I know, I know as a small business owner myself, uh, the client hates it when they call and, oh, no, she's not here anymore or he's not here anymore. Yeah. So um, that really does pay dividends, doesn't it, Chris? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I think that's one of the great things about us. And that's one of the differentiators. When you come to work with me, you work with me, not seven other people. Yes. Right. I think that's. That's where business is made, right? Within the relationships. And at the end of the day, if they have the relationship with you, they will give you a chance. Even if you can't do what they need you to do, they'll give you a chance, right? So I think not swapping out pieces a whole bunch is, yeah. is key to it. Um, and you definitely will find client, um, I guess, loyalty in that. Absolutely. Okay, uh, Alex, we'll give you the final word. Uh, we've got about uh, 45 seconds left. Uh, why should people do business with Catapult rather than another agency? Um, Chris has alluded to this multiple times in this conversation. We care most about identifying um, the need of the client, understanding their company, understanding the direction that they're trying to go as an organization, and then aligning our candidates and our services with that. As opposed to these are the these are the list of requirements that we have for the spot. Can you go find the people? No. Let's understand and try to align motivations and align culture. Right? Because if that's not a cultural fit, skills are a commodity. Yes. Let's find someone who will blend into the organization and will help you grow. I think we sell there. So I, I think that's why we're yeah. Hey, this this was a wonderful segment, guys. We'll have to have you back again soon. Yeah. We're going to end by putting the uh, website up. It's catapultsg.com. Thank you, Alex and Chris, for coming on the show. Thanks, Chef. We appreciate it, man. That's it for now. We'll see you next time.